I'm currently a senior majoring in broadcast and digital journalism with a minor in entrepreneurship and emerging enterprise. To be here today for me is much more than a ceremony. Today is much more significant because I come from a place where I've attended more funerals and court appearances than college graduations. To be here today is a barrier broken. I have my family in attendance today, and for many of them, this is the first time they have attended a college graduation. Finally, some honesty. Earning the opportunity to walk across this stage required much more than just passing classes. For what makes this institution rigorous, at least for us black and brown students, is not the curriculum, but what comes with being black in the context of America. Nah, it was the curriculum. <laughs> it was the curriculum, man. That was what, that's what made this shit rigorous, man. Your ass had to go extra study, man. I remember when I was in fucking school, man, they used to give, they would give me extra time to take the test, man. They say, man, you can have extra time, man. For that, um, Severe ADD, man. Them people did everything they could to help a nigga, man. What the fuck is these people talking about, man? Them gladys did everything. They said, all right, all right, son, man, you can have extra time. Everyone else has to finish in within an hour, but you, you can take as long as you want, son, man. I'd be the only one in the fucking room, like, scratching my head and shit, like... while trying to uphold academic excellence. It's not the curriculum that makes this college experience rigorous. It's occupying academic buildings and being sent suspension letters for advocating for the creation of policies that will hold every student accountable for the racial slurs and vandalism of the dorms we blacks. Yeah, cause um, that's y'all doing vandalism with the dorms and you know goddamn well ain't no white kids fucking with no black kids on no campus. Them white kids is doing them. The black kids is doing them. The Obritos is doing them. Everybody's doing them. The Asian kids ain't even thinking about nobody else. Asian kids probably don't even. Man, them Asian kids on them college campus, they don't know anybody that's not Asian. They don't even know any white kids. Everybody they know is Asian. The black kids, they all doing their thing. They don't know no white people. They don't know no Asian people. The fuck is this guy talking about, man? Students living. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's bearing witness to your black woman friends having a focus on academia while learning they have been stripped of their agency to choose whether to give birth or not, despite... Why don't you give them their own? I got an idea. Give niggas their own graduation commencement. Okay, we're going to have the regular commencement for all the smart people. And then we going to have, because you telling me it wasn't no Asian smarter than this fucking guy or no glider. Who Press one if you think, press one if you think there was an Asian or glider that was more deserving to be the valedictorian. Press two if you think this guy was the most qualified candidate to be fucking valedictorian at fucking Syracuse University. And then he gets up here and does this shit. Goddamn ape. Having the highest mortality rate. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's being a first generation college student and not having the ability to call home to seek guidance on how to navigate the collegiate space. You can't, who was stopping you from calling home? Was it, they, was they standing by the pay phone? With, oh no, everybody got cell phones now. I was about to say they were standing by the pay phone with fucking torches and shit, tiki torches. But yeah, everybody got cell phones. Um, why couldn't you call home with your cell phone, man? For you're the first to do so. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's being a black student in an educational system that justifies the admission of black history through the use of the discomfort it causes our white counterparts. When oh, God. This nigga got up here and did all this shit.
This nigga gotta be and did all this shit, man. I told you, Glider, you should have just fucking let the one who was qualified be valedictorian, man. You gave this nigga a, a goddamn affirmative action valedictorian ship and shit. And he gotta be and did this shit. <laughs> That's what y'all deserve. That's what you deserve. I'm glad he did this shit. Go, son, man. Go, son, man. Go. I'm glad he did this shit. You shouldn't have, you should have just fucking gave a valedictorian to the most qualified person. You gave it to this son word, and he got up here and did what the fuck a son word supposed to do. Why he ain't talking about the classes and shit and everything he did? Why he talking about all this racial shit that ain't got nothing to do with the fucking price of tea in China? Shut up, I cook says I'm supporting the black man. <laughs> I doubt if I to sleep on the show one for the road. You salute to shut up, I can cook, man. Class discussions reveal the true history of theirs. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's studying abroad in London while 10 elderly black men and women are killed in top supermarket. Just some. Yeah. And what about 10, 10 not elderly black men and women killed in fucking every city, every fucking week what about Syracuse you want to go to the news in little teeny fucking Syracuse we just did Syracuse mass shooting I think we did two mass shootings in Syracuse this year and we did a little girl hit with a straight bullet during the gun gunfight Syracuse and we did we did the gun memorial Syracuse the story I did earlier today where that fucking black dude killed his white girlfriend Press one if you saw that video drop earlier today. He accidentally shot his white girlfriend. That was in fucking Syracuse. You got plenty of crime in Syracuse, man. With black people killing people, man. The fuck is this guy talking about? This is him right here. Wow. Miles away from here simply because they were black. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's having to work three jobs on campus to pay your rent and assist your parents in paying theirs. Some of us in this room understand firsthand that the scholarships and financial aid we earned were not just funding us as students. They were funding our household in a community. Okay, great. So yeah, right? That's a good thing, right? Glad us were fucking paying for your school and then helping your fucking parents and shit. Platters were facilitating your life with your fucking grants and shit, right? Ain't that something to be thankful for? It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's looking at the news and seeing someone that looks like you with the same name Jordan being choked to death by a former Marine on a subway station. Whoa, I gave you my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. I won't go breaking your heart. Shit. You son words always fucking let a nigga down, man. Oh, they gonna hire this diva. He gonna have fucking job up the shit, the woke, the fucking the woke. Fucking corporate America gonna hire him, and they gonna have to hire him now. Could you imagine him, him applying for a job and not hiring him? <laughs> this motherfucker was fucking. Oh my god, he, shit! If, if he came in, if he came in to fucking my office and I was a corporate America and he and I saw this shit, I would hire him. Just be, I'd be afraid, man. I'd be like, oh, shit, this motherfucker. If he don't get this job, well, we gonna have hell to pay. and witnessing his mental health being used to justify his death. I say this all to emphasize the danger of a single narrative story, the danger of being left to formulate a preconceived notion of a community based on westernized media, and the danger of having a seat at the table to tell your own story. I often say that it's easy to dream, but it's hard to aspire to occupy a space that you have never seen someone that looks like you in. 
what space you never seen someone look like you in? Think what it ain't the mayor, it ain't the president, it ain't the vice president, it ain't fucking pe- anybody in any fucking role in media. Fucking Tyler Perry on VH1 and BET. Michael Jordan just sold the Charlotte Hornets. There's fucking thousands of black millionaires all over this country. What the fuck is this guy talking about? My presence here today will serve as proof to the next young black man or woman that despite what comes with being a black student at Syracuse University, it's possible to speak at the Newhouse graduation. Yeah, full of all this anger, and he's fucking been sitting up in fucking Syracuse University campus in the most protected space and shit. Them campuses are safe, Jack. I lived on campus for years, man. Them campuses is safe, Jack. Go on the real world, man. You'll fucking learn how fucking safe you was on that campus. There was a time where I did not know what a student marshal was until last year when I met a black woman named Adudu, a student marshal at the College of Engineering and Computer Science. So she was African. If she was African American, she'd have been a fucking, at the fucking school of fucking underwater, fucking water basket, back underwater basket weaving. There was a time when I not believe I was going to be the president of the United States, which is what I will one day become. Oh, God. Oh, God. This nigga is full of bluster. He said, I will one day be the president of the United States. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Negro. You don't say no shit like that, nigga. You don't say no shit like that, man. You know how hard it is to be the fucking president of the United States? You don't just throw no shit out like that out. You got to be humble, man. You don't just say no shit like that. That's one in a fucking... That's like one in 500 million chance of being the fucking president of the United States. until I seen Barack Obama become the president. My presence today will stand as a symbol of inspiration for the black people who hear this speech will be able to see themselves in a position I am in and aspire to do the same. I challenge my fellow graduates who are not of color to be mindful and intentional with the stories that you share, normalize and teach your children. For those stories are used to formulate a preconceived notion of who we are based on the narratives you teach and the environments you expose them to. I challenge my fellow brothers and sisters to also be intentional and thoughtful about the stereotypes we normalize and perpetuate amongst ourselves. James Baldwin once stated that if the world does it to you long enough and effectively enough, you begin to do it to yourself. You become an accomplice to your own murderers. We must ensure that we do not become that accomplice and use our platforms to empower one another. To Syracuse and to Newhouse, I challenge you all to take accountability for the trajectory the media has taken. It is not one we should be proud of. For what? Woke media, you wanted, he's not even satisfied. The media is so fucking woke nowadays and so pandering to black people. And this guy's still not satisfied. We take pride in being a number one communication school. We must also take ownership of the leaders and content creators for the media we consume, especially as we produce those who are the head of the newsroom. 
So we are only a microcosm of what the world will become. I challenge us all here today to denounce the stereotypes we have of one another, for the problem with stereotypes is not that they are untrue, but incomplete. As the legendary Nipsey Hussle once stated, the marathon continues. <laughs> y'all incur hate y'all make people hate you even if somebody don't want to hate you you gonna make them hate you shit 